to tidy up my hair a little bit. Um, hey, welcome to my live stream. I'm Inkslaura123. This is my Wacky World, my vlog channel here on YouTube. Um, I haven't done a live in ages, so I thought I would do one, and here I am. So I'll wait to see if anyone arrives. This wasn't a planned live stream, so I haven't like promoted it or anything like that. Um, I just hopped on. Hopped on. Um, so we shall see if the notifications do actually get sent out. Um, if anyone turns up. If not, I'll feel really stupid. No. Um, I would, but you know. What is the time? It is 10 to 7 at night. Well, early evening here in the UK. And I just, yeah, I'm sitting in my, my Tweety Pie night dress because I'm cool like that and I just thought I would do a live stream so we will wait to see if anyone's around hey there is someone here Woo. Uh, KHX hello 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 how are you doing KHX um, also Jordan is here Jordan hello how are you doing hey Lee how are you doing Lee Fern in the house good to see some familiar faces I'm so sorry that I haven't done a live stream in, well, it's got to be a good few weeks now, isn't it, really? So I am very sorry. Even with my uploads, I've been really bad. And, you know, I've been trying to put some regular content out there, but not as often as I was. And But I will explain why in a, in a bit. So, um, yeah, I'm okay. I'm just a bit tired, but I'm all right. How are you? I hope everyone is good. And happy Easter to all of you that celebrate Easter um sort of zombie hello how are you it's good to see you i painted my nails this morning by the way look i've done it this like dark red do you think um not too bad thank you hope you're okay yeah it, you know what it's been a it's been an awful blooming few weeks to be honest well it's been an awful few months but because <laughs> obvious things but the last few weeks have just been horrible um oh thank you so much you don't have to apologize it's fine i I know, but I don't know why I feel like I should apologise if I haven't uploaded that much or um, not live streamed. You know, my channels mean a lot to me, like they really do. When I don't put that much effort into them through various reasons, I always feel that sense of guilt. I can't, I can't help it. Um, but yeah, basically Nathan had flu, and I was looking after him, and uh, within I think two or three days, I started to get a bit of a cough, and I was like, uh oh. And then it, yeah, I got the flu as well. So basically both of us had the flu and he would get a bit better and then I was getting worse and then he would start coughing again and then I'd be coughing and yeah, we're basic, basically ill with the flu. Um, good couple of weeks. It was really weird. It was like this odd, like lingering flu thing that just wouldn't go away. And it felt like everyone you spoke to either had it, knew someone who's got it or, you know, or have had it or it's really weird, like, it was just so, like, everyone had this flu thing, um, but yeah, it was awful, and we both said, like, it felt worse than actually when we had COVID, we both had COVID and stuff, and we both felt worse with this flu than we did with the COVID, oh, I've just seen a super sticker, Mwah. thank you so much, oh, I have to cancel my dad's call, there we go, I'll bring you back in a bit, um, <laughs> KHX, thank you for the super sticker of the heart, well, I appreciate that. Thank you. Honestly, I am so appreciative. When anyone ever super chats or super stickers donates, it really does mean a lot to me. And especially now, yeah, I'm not giving you the sob story. It's not, you know, your issue, but I have lost my job. Me and Nathan both got made redundant. So any like donations really help out. <laughs> so thank you very much. Very kind of you. Um, Jordan says my stepdad had it. Thankfully, I managed to avoid it. Yeah, I tell you, it, it's horrible. So I, you know, me and Nathan were talking and we reckon it, it could be like a, a sort of strain of COVID that they've just not like brought out yet or said about because the amount of people who had it, the way it was spreading so quick and lingering and oh, anyway, we're both feeling a bit more human now. It's still left with that that cough. I've still got a tiggly throat. My dad had it as well and his partner, Jan, um, he was really bad. My dad, he was in bed for like over a week and he's not like that normally. Um so yeah, it's just horrible. Uh, A is it Ali? Sorry, Ali X. Hello. Oh, bless ya. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Thank you. I'm very spoiled. <laughs> um, Lee Fern, thank you so much for the super stick. No, super chat. 
super sticker it's super something uh get yourself a coffee or something bless you thank you lee always kind let me know what you're thinking of the eurovision songs because i got i got my favorite so far there's a few songs that have really caught my eye so i really am interested in finding out what you like and what songs you dislike my fellow eurovision fan <laughs> um thank you very much honestly people are so kind um but yeah, it's just been a really horrible few weeks we've both been ill haven't been able to do anything uh i had a job interview the other day and it was over a team's call um and i'd got down to like the final five and then the guy rung me and it was for a recruitment agency he won't give the name of it or anything but it was for a recruitment agency and i was like oh you know this could be really good it was working from home you know like remote the money was bloody brilliant and i was like oh this is good hours were a bit you know okay i could do it um and then yeah he said final five then final three he wanted me to do like a trial um to see like it was tele sales see if i could get some leads and i was like yeah i'm up for doing the trial but then i got the flu and i let him know really early i like, emailed over really early in the morning and said i'm so so sorry I, you know i mean my throat was so sore like i've not had a sore throat like that for i don't know me and nathan were saying it was one of the worst sore throats ever um it was like you were swallowing on glass like it was so painful and I couldn't talk and I said look I'm really sorry can we kind of po postpone um like the interview like the next stage because I'm, I just can't do it today I didn't mean that I wasn't going to do it I wanted the job I wanted the trial but I just needed that few days to get over my, my flu and he literally just ignored me so in a way I think I had a lucky escape for working for that company it was, wasn't very nice um so but it was kind of sad because I, I kind of built myself up to get that job. And, and you know, it, it's hard to get, you know, interviews and things like that. So when you do get one, you're like, ooh. And then to not be able to do it, it you know. Mm. But anyway, things happen for a reason, right? Sorry, let me scroll back. I'm missing comments. Yes, Lee Fern, we actually, we agree. Croatia is my winner as well. Um, Yeah, I I agree. I absolutely love Croatia. I have put money on them at the book, book, bookies, the betting shop. I went in the other day. I said, are you taking bets on the Eurovision? And uh, I did get a funny look, but she looked it up and said, yes, we are. So I've had a bet on the Eurovision. It's only like a pound win on Croatia. Um, I love that song. It is so catchy. It's so good. The performance, it, it won't get out of my head. I absolutely love it. So Croatia for the win for me. Um, yeah, I think the juries will be a bit, mm, but I, I really like it. Lovely to see you, Michelle, as well. Hi, Laura. Hope you're well. Just want to say your tarot card reading you gave me was spot on. Oh, thanks, Michelle. I've got my cards over there. And I I, I was thinking the other day, I must do like some uh, a live stream soon with my tarot cards. I've also got some new cards as well, the like relationship tarot -y cards. But I'm not in the zone at the moment, if I'm honest. But as soon as I feel a bit more brighter in myself, I'll definitely do like a new tarot card reading live stream. Um, Gemma, hey, sis. How you doing, beautiful girl? My lovely Gemma's journey, Grace. Uh, so proud of you for everything you do. Um, Rito, how you doing? And yeah, he didn't reply. It was unprofessional and it was rude. And, you know, the thing is, I'd had an interview. I think I'd featured it on my vlog. Not the interview, but before the interview. Because um, it was over Teams and it lasted for over an hour. And as I say, I got to the final three. The guy was really impressed that I'd done telly sales for like, you know, 20 years pretty much. And you know, and I had experience. He said, I'll come across really well. I was friendly, confident, and he really wanted me to, you know, do well. And I just, yeah, I couldn't do it. But all he had to say was, okay, we'll do it another day. And I'd be like, okay, but I didn't, I didn't get the chance. And it really pissed me off to be fair. And I was sad about it for a bit of time because I thought, oh no, it's so hard trying to look for work. Like seriously, because most of my CV is like, like tele sales, tele sales, tele sales. And so when I'm trying to go for like retail jobs or, you know, any other form of office job, they just see tele sales and they're like, nope, next, next, please. Um, so I am struggling and that is getting me down as well. Um, not good for mental health. You know, at the end of the day, me and Nathan have both been made redundant. The house, you know, we've got to pay the bills and blah, blah, blah. You know, and I need a job. Nathan needs a job. We need work. You're like, you know. But you can sit there and stress about it or you can just get on and try and enjoy the time that we've got. You know, once we do eventually get jobs and we'll be working and stuff, like it'll be harder to just do whatever. So in our time now, we've got some time off. We're just going to try and chill out, relax, do things around the house as well. There's lots and lots of stuff to be sorted through the house. And, 
yeah, just kind of just spend time together, like, and do our own thing, obviously, but also have time together. So uh, we've got to look at it as a positive, I suppose. Uh, oh, sorry you've been sick, Gem. I hope you feel better soon. Um, oh, bless you, Michelle. Oh, I'm pleased you're better now, Gemma. Sorry, I just read that. Um, yeah, it's it's uh, <coughs> it's really hard, isn't it, Michelle? When you've been working for the same company for so long, like I worked in the same office for twenty years, um, different companies, but in that same room. Every time a company had closed, I'd open another company, and you know, because we were so good at tele sales, me and my mum, bless her, we were took on together for the new company and we just ended up staying there like, like furniture uh, for over 20 years and you know it's a big change but I have got some news which I'm really happy about and I'm excited about so I'm going to tell you that in a second um happy oh is it okay on Monday happy world autism week starting on Monday oh so it's next week I might try and have to do something for that um yeah it's you know what I'm trying to find an actual uh private autism assessment place um and it's just literally impossible i've been told this list is just getting like ridiculous like three years now to get an assessment and i just i, I want this real I, I don't even know why but i just i want it i want to know like 100 billion percent i have been told that i'm autistic um from the nhs um from therapy for you they did lots of questions with me and, and phone calls and blah 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 and you know they're pretty much 100 percent convinced I, I am autistic I'm on the spectrum um but they say to have the official 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 diagnosis you have to see some face to face and um it's just such a ridiculously long list and yeah I just I can't seem to find anywhere private that I can find that's local I've been ringing around all different places see if anyone can help and they're like I'm sorry we don't know of anybody and, and then you look online and it's so expensive um I, I can't afford it let's be honest so I don't know what I'm gonna do I've just got to wait I suppose like everyone else but it, it's hard you know um okay Jordan take care oh you're going out for a few drinks enjoy yourself and it was good to see you hey hey um what does an official diagnosis do it is more is it more for just curious sorry <laughs> it's more just for curiosity and to know for sh sure or does it change stuff in your life um, I mean, maybe Gemma can help with that answer uh, for Ali X. You know, for me, I, I've i said this before, I don't really like labels. I'm not that kind of labely person, but yeah, I do label myself certain things. Um, but like, for me personally, I don't know, it's just, I don't know really why I want it. I want it just because I can say, you know what, I officially have this bit of paper saying what I think I am and people think I am and I don't know. It's just to provide myself an answer for it. I don't know. And also, if there's help, once you get an official diagnosis, um, my counsellor told me that I've, I've got from my GP, I've got like this counsellor. And the lady said that once you've got your official diagnosis, you can get more help. You know, there's support groups, there's advice, even certain medication if you need them. So there's various reasons why I want to do it and get it. But it is just a, a long, you know, waiting process for it. But anyway, so the good news is, I have become a volunteer. I thought, you know what? I'm not going to just sit around. You know, obviously I'm looking for work and stuff. Like I can't do that 24-7. You know, once you've sent your CV off or you've rung up someone, there's only so much you can do in a day, right? And I thought, I want to do something. I need to do something. And to give me confidence, experience. And I've always wanted to work in a charity shop. I love charity shopping. Ever since I was a kid, my mum my and dad used to take me to them and look for bargains and hunt for treasure as such and, and and I've loved it so I've started working um as a volunteer at a cancer research charity shop which also you know an amazing charity my mum and dad both had cancer um during their lives and and I know that that charity meant a lot to my mum she would always wear their little um badges and pin badges and things um and so, yeah, I've, I've started volunteering there. Um, I had my first day. Thank you. I started yesterday. Yesterday, it wasn't yesterday. I started on Tuesday um, afternoon. I did say about in the vlog, but the vlog hasn't gone up yet. But yeah, so I started. I was so nervous because it is out of my comfort zone and it's different. But I love the people in there. The two ladies that are the managers are so nice. Like I obviously shop in there over the years. and I've got to know them and they're genuinely lovely, lovely women and they sh that she showed me all around the back of the shop and 
I was just genuinely excited. I was like, oh my God, I get to see behind the scenes and find out about, you know, where they put this and how they do that. And yeah, I'm going back on Tuesday. I'm going to be till trained, my first session of tra training for the tills. I've never done a till, um, only in role plays, obviously, and when I was a kid, you know, the little toy tills. But yeah, it's all done on like kind of a computer screen with a keyboard and all that. So yeah, I'm really excited. I've even got a little little yan a, a yan yard, <laughs> not a yan yard, a lanyard um, that I get given, I think, on Tuesday when I go back. So I'm quite excited to that. And I said, when I get my lanyard, can I have a little selfie for my Instagram? And they were like, well, of course you can. So, I, you know, it's something that I really want to do. And, you know, it might only be for a few hours a week, but number one, it's going to get me out of the house. Number two, it's going to be a nice learning curve and experience in retail, customer services, till trained um, number three, it's just great to help other people to be involved in charity, volunteering. You know, obviously I'm sad that like I don't get paid. I know it sounds awful, but end of the day, I need a job, right? And I wish I was paid, but it could lead to other things. You know, maybe in the future it could be a paid job, or if I go for another retail job, I'll have retail experience from that. Um, if I got another part-time job, I could maybe still do volunteering and carry on there, you know, free of charge, obviously. And yeah, so. I don't know. I'm just really excited about it, but it, it's just, yeah, it, it, it's hard. It's a hard time right now and I'm trying to be positive and, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm I'm not just saying this, but Nathan is a bloody legend and he's over there. Um, He's doing his Pokemon, so I'm not going to interrupt him. He's sorting out through all his Pokemon cards and bits and pieces, but he is just a legend and he's, he's always there for me and he's such a good partner and just best friend and just soulmate and everything. So he's a good boy. Good boy. Well, man, not a boy. <laughs> it's just like 38. He's not a boy anymore. Um, just reading people's uh comment. Okay, so Gemma's answering. Helps get professional support and any benefits you may be entitled to. Um, yeah, that's the other thing, like things like that that I could get help with. Obviously, it might help if I do have an official diagnosis as well. Um, yeah, volunteering I think is gonna be fulfilling. And as I say, yes, I would prefer to have a paid job, but for the moment. And for the experience of it, and if I can carry it on at some point in the future, I I think it's a good thing for me. I get this experience of, you know, being in a shop and like I don't know, I'm just really excited for it. Like I love charity shops, so it's going to be really fun. And as I say I really like the ladies that I'm working with; they're so nice as well. So that's good. Um, thank you, Gemma, for helping out with some, you know, ex explaining of all the stuff because you are the queen. I I don't understand a lot of this stuff. Um. But yeah, help me understand who I've been all my life. Yeah, I, I, that's the thing as well, Gemma, you know, when I was told on the phone that, that I remember that first call when they told me, well, I'd had previous calls with them and they'd sent me lots of questionnaires and different things I had to fill in. But that official first time that that counsellor said to me, you know, I'm going to tell you, Laura, you are on the spectrum. You've got high function autism. And I just... I cried. I literally, I melted down on the phone and I said, I'm so sorry. Like, I don't know why I'm crying. Like, I'm not ashamed of being autistic. I'm not embarrassed. It's not anything like that. And she said, no, the reason why you're crying is because you finally got an answer. You finally got someone saying, this is what it is. This is why you are the way you are. And you get results, you get answers to who, who you are. And, and I suppose, yeah, that that's what it is. Ever since I've had that diagnosis, I'm just like, okay, that's that explains this that explains that that's why I think that that's why I do this and that's why I can't do that and yeah I don't know so I just you know I do really want that official diagnosis and I, I just think as I say it's going to be helpful in so many different ways and and just yeah just yeah <laughs> um yeah I think a lot of people well when the counselor spoke to me she said a lot of people do cry but it's out of a kind of relief of finally knowing who you are and you know, I've always known, I've always known I was a bit different than everyone else. And, and I never, I've never thought that was a bad thing. Um, well, I say that, I mean, maybe when I was younger, especially as a teenager and you're trying to fit in and be like everybody else. Um, I suppose, yeah, I did used to feel a bit like, oh, why am I weird? Why am I different? Why doesn't so-and-so do what I do? Why do I think this? And, but I think as I've got older, I've kind of embraced being different and having my little ways and stuff. Um, so yeah, <laughs> that's that. <laughs> um, hey Minxy, so glad to catch you live after a long time. Hope you're doing well. Hi Navin, how you doing? Good to see you. 
don't forget everyone please subscribe to my channel i really appreciate that i can see that both my channels have been getting more views and more subscribers slowly but surely and it really makes me happy um the asmr channel i i absolutely adore as well this vlog channel is my little baby and yeah i, I just i really want to take more time especially now i'm not working i suppose i've got to just put even more effort into making content doing live shows for both my channels um i also do personalized videos as well which i've got to do tomorrow um there's some that i've had to do and i've just been so ill i just couldn't do it i just couldn't i just wasn't well enough um but i'll get them done tomorrow and, and you know sent to the people that i've got to send them to but yeah just want to kind of focus on as i say my my mental health my physical health i've still been <coughs> i've still been doing my diet um oh, my hives are coming up I can just say my neck bright red oh trying to hide that over here um yeah i've still been doing all my exercise i've lost nearly a stone now um my clothes you can tell are so different i actually went yesterday to the dentist because i had to go to the hygienist for an appointment and i hadn't been there for months and months and uh yeah each of the staff every time they would see me they were like oh my god laura you've lost so much weight and i'm like eh? obviously there's still a lot more to go i you know total i wanted to lose like five stones so there's still quite a bit to go but you know i'm looking at myself in the mirror and I'm like, okay, well, this bit looks better. This looks better. This looks better. So, you know, and I feel like I walk faster. I don't feel as tired when I'm walking. And I haven't been as good with the exercise bike because obviously me and Nathan have had flu and we were just not, you know, well enough to do the exercise bike. But I've still been trying to walk most days that, I, you know, when I could go out um, and still being under calories with my food. The only day I was bad was yesterday. And even that wasn't that bad. I just, I just, oh, I needed chocolate and I just had it. And I felt really bad afterwards. But I was, I think I was literally still under calories for the day. Because I'm calorie counting. But you know what? Sometimes a girl just needs chocolate. <laughs> I've got PMT. I needed chocolate and I had chocolate. And then I was like, I feel guilty now. But what have I done today? I've been extra good. And I've, you know, I've, I'm well under calories. For the rest of the evening I've got in my little book. I've got 770 calories left for the night. And I'm not going to have all that. So I should be quite well under my calories if I'm a good girl today. Um, so what's everyone else been up to? Tell me about your life. Tell me about what you've been doing. Um, hey, Lee, how are you doing? Hello, hello. How are you? And by the way, yeah, happy Easter to all of you that celebrate. Um, I, I have one little Easter egg in the cup. No, I've got two little Easter eggs in the cupboard that I've just been breaking off bits of the chocolate. I'm not having them like whole. Um but yeah, I just, oh, uh, it's so hard being on a diet and walking around bloody shops and seeing all the chocolate. I'm like, no. <laughs> um, are there any new food items you have discovered that you like while being on a diet? Do you know what my my saviour is of nighttime and my vegan sausages? They're Richmond meat free sausages. And they're, I have like, how many do I have? Four, which sounds a lot, but they're, they're quite small. I have four and that's 200 calories. For four sausages they fill me up they're low you know obviously low this low that low calorie and they're quite high in protein because they're corn uh, you know like not corn but fake meat as such um so yeah they've been my my real help because it gets the evening i'm hungry and i'm like oh no but then i have sausages not that many calories and i'm done so they really help me also i've been having fruit when it gets the evening i get peckish i've been having my fruit um i have a couple of slim fasts through the week you know as a replacement breakfast or whatever soup yeah nathan is correct yeah i also been having the um heinz mushroom soup that's only 200 calories for the tin and it fills you up and also a little cup of soup bachelor's cup of soup which i think is like 80 calories so things like that have been good hope that helps <laughs> um you're going out tomorrow on sunday lovely where are you off to Gemma? um lee says i'm good thanks laura have you been keeping off the easter eggs as i say i've just got two little i think they're like the freddo or buttons ones in the cupboard and i've just been breaking off a little bit each day putting it on the scales weighing the chocolate god that is so depressing having to weigh chocolate but i'm calorie counting is what i've got to do <laughs> um but yeah how about you have you got lots of easter eggs or you've been good 
Um, Navin says, well, I've been a bit depressed. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. Going for a rough patch, trying to just stay busy, give myself a lot of time. You know what, Navin, just take it easy. Make sure you do things that, you know, relax you, that make you happy, um, whether it's reading or watching films or going for walks, doing exercise, whatever, um, meditation. Just make sure you look after yourself, okay? Um, I track my calories. Yeah, I look, I'm probably not doing it in a in an official nutrition way, but I'm literally writing down a rough thing of what my calories are every day. I'm trying to stick to 1,500 calories a day. And it's obviously working because I'm losing weight. My clothes are looser. I feel, you know, more, you know, slim. Not slim, but slimmer than I was. So I'm just going to carry on doing what I'm doing. Oh, hello. <laughs> Nima's there with a super sticker. Thank you. <laughs> Oh, bless you. Honestly, you lovely, lovely viewers are so generous and kind to me. And I really appreciate it. I, look, I've never been the sort of YouTuber who just sits there and asks for donations. I know there are a few, well, a lot, and I don't like that. And I've never been like that. So when people just randomly donate off their own, like, you know, their own wanting to, it is so kind. And, you know, as I say, I've been made redundant. Any extra cash really does help. So thank you. Thank you. Mwah, really appreciate that um bless you thank you Nima. and hope you're okay uh try the fiber one yeah i've got them actually i've got uh, michelle i've got the little fiber one it's a little mini donut thing and they're yeah 90 calories i haven't had them for a few weeks but i've got them in the cupboard i've got them in little um you eat so yeah lots of soup right lee barnard knows what i'm chatting about lots of soup what's your favorite flavor soup lee um no Easter eggs for me, expensive and not a lot of them these days. I'm trying to lay off sweets and chocolates too. Um, you know what? Me and my friend Hannah were laughing the other day. She actually put, I don't know if you saw it, she put a picture on my Facebook wall. Because we were saying that back in the day, like in the 80s and 90s, my hives is just not going down. Look, it's bright red. Um, back in the day, like the Easter eggs were so much better. They were thicker and the design of them, like the boxes were so much nicer. I think they all just look like really boring now. And Hannah was saying you either get the really, really cheap ones, like a pound or two pound, or like they're like 15 pound. There's nothing like in between these days. Um, they're just silly, silly, ridiculous and just not as cool as they used to be. Like I was showing Nathan the picture that Hannah had put on my wall of the Easter eggs. And we both said we had the smartest one with the little mug. Um, and there was a Yorkie one in the shape of like a little Yorkie truck and yeah, I just don't think they're very adventurous with Easter eggs these days. Oh, sorry, what is it? They call them gesture eggs. Oh, my. Um, what's everyone? What's everyone's view on that? Sorry, I don't like normally talking stuff like this because people end up rowing. So in a nice, friendly debate, you know, I've been seeing a lot of this stuff online and people are complaining that it's not called Easter eggs or and even with the hot cross buns, I think Iceland were putting a tick on them instead of a cross and... Look, at the end of the day, I, I'm not Christian, I'm Jewish, and, you know, well, my dad was Christian, obviously Christian, but anyway, but, you know, I, I, I don't celebrate Easter as such as a religious festival, but I always say happy Easter to people. Over the years, I've always had an Easter egg, like, you know, so, you know, I I, I don't take offence to it. I, I, I think it's a bit silly when they're not being able to call them Easter eggs, you know, I think mm, it's just silly, but that's my opinion. I don't know. They're Easter eggs. <laughs> um chicken noodles says Slee. oh that's your, i was like what yeah sorry i forgot i'd ask that question of, of soup and i just thought you were writing chicken noodles and i was like huh <laughs> i realized now sorry see yeah clearly i can't eat the chicken because i'm a vegetarian but um actually when i was a kid my grandma used to make good old jewish chicken soup chicken kosher chicken soup and it had um like she used to put all the, the noodles in and stuff like that. oh it's so nice well, this is vegetarian. I, I won't eat chicken soup. I think they do like fake chicken soup. Uh, but the soup is good. Low calorie fills you up, especially in the winter when you're cold and you just fancy a nice mug of soup or a bowl of soup. Lovely. My mum, bless her, she used to love, um, she used to love tomato sauce, uh, tomato sauce, oh God, tomato soup. And she used to dip some like white bread into the soup, like little soldiers and yeah. Normally, if she'd say to me, oh, Laura, can you do me a bowl of tomato soup? And I'd bring it into her, um, cook it in the microwave quickly, bring it into her on a tray. And by the time she was, she knew, by the time I brought it in, she said, I bet you've had some. And I was like, no, I haven't. But I had. I'd got my spoon. and you know. 
It's really odd. Like I do like tomato soup, but I couldn't drink a whole mug of it or a whole bowl of it. I just want a little bit of it. But mushroom soup, I can drink the whole bowl. Sorry, this is really boring. I'm just talking about soup now. Um, <laughs> you've tried those prime protein brownies. They're all over TikTok. I, by... I just see. I can't eat anything like that that's chewy or hard because I'm so paranoid about my teeth. But it's all good. They're supposed to be very yummy. I have heard a lot of people saying they're good. Um, oh, thank you very much. Love your photo today. Look lovely in your dress. Bless you. Thank you, Lee. You've definitely lost weight and it shows. Dress fitted you very well. Do you know what? I actually wore that dress in, when did we go? February. Nathan's cousin. Um, it's her birthday. I think it was in my vlog the other day. It's her 21st. And um, I wore that dress and Nathan's family hadn't seen me for ages. And they were like, oh, you know, you look like you've lost a lot of weight. And it, it looks even, I think, you know, not being vain, but it looked better today than even then. Like, as in it, it went in a bit more. So I've clearly lost a bit more even from then. Um, but yeah, I love that dress. It was my favourite dress. I love it. Um, and I, I want to go at some point when I eventually get a job and some, you know, spare money, ugh, money, the bane of my life. But when I get some spare money, I want to go in Primark and I just want to treat myself and get a couple of new dresses. You know, I'm not fancy. I don't need next or any expensive stuff. I just want to go in Primark, get a couple of dresses <laughs> and, you know, just wear them because I feel really confident now in dresses. Um, but some of the dresses that I've had where I've lost weight. I had to get rid of them because they're just too big. They're like literally like sacks. So I said to Nathan, when I get a job, when I get some spare money, I'm literally going to treat myself to a couple of dresses in Primark um, just so I can feel I bought a dress. I, You know what? When I was younger, I used to wear dresses and I always felt super, super paranoid in them. Um, and then I think it was only like last year I started to think, you know what? I don't care what people think of me or whatever. I need to feel comfortable and I don't know, the more I started wearing these dresses, I actually felt really confident and, and comfortable in a sort of feminine look. I have been in my life a little bit of a toy a <laughs> toy boy. I don't know where I am today, not a toy boy. I've been a little bit of a tomboy, not a toy boy. Nathan's my toy boy, but I'm a, I'm a, yeah. But I've always been a bit of a tomboy in the way that, yeah, I love all, you know, I used to wear loads of makeup. I've obviously still got my long hair, but like I've always been like a kind of trouser kind of girl. I remember at high school, we always used to have to wear skirts if we were girls. And then I think it was the last couple of years before I left school that they incorporated that girls could actually wear trousers. That's how old I am. And I remember being just ecstatic. Think I was so happy that I could wear trousers and not a skirt to school. So I've always been quite like tomboyish, but feminine tomboy, I suppose. Um, but now I actually feel most confident when I'm wearing a dress and being super girly. So um, there we go. I'm blabbering on. Sorry. Um, Easter eggs. Simple, says Gemma. Calling them. It, 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 sorry. Calling them dressed eggs is woke. Political correctness gone mad. I'm not religious either. I just enjoy the name and colours of it all. Just fun. Celebrate something in spring. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, exactly. I just rolled my eyes when I saw gesture eggs. I think it was only a few stores, not Cadbury's as a whole. Yeah, exactly. They sort of twisted it like Cadbury's had called them that, but it wasn't. It was certain stores that had put the signs up. Yeah, um, absolutely true. You can get. Did you say cox? Have you typed cock soup? <laughs> you can get cock soup in Sainsbury's. It's Caribbean chicken, but it's spicy. Oh, sorry. Ah. I ring my dad. I'll have to go in a bit because I've got to ring my dad back. What, cock soup? Are you joking? Nathan used to work at Tesco's years ago. They're what? There's actually a cock soup? Yeah, it says cock soup. It's not made of... Made of cock. No, it's not made of cock. It's not. Cockerel. Oh, it's not. Are you winding me up here? He's got a cheeky grin on his face. I'm not sure. Potato and leek. Ooh, I've never had potato and leek. I like the golden vegetable cup of soup. <laughs> it's just a soup show. We're just talking about soup all night. Um, not vain at all. You should be proud of all the work you've put in. Thanks. Yeah, yeah, I am. Do you know what? I'm really proud of myself. And I'm proud of Nathan as well because he's lost over a stone now. He's done bloody well. Um, so, yeah, we're like by December, we'll both be like scrawny and skinny. <laughs> no, probably not. Um, you can definitely see you've lost weight in, weight in your face. You know what? I obviously, look, my hives are really bad at the moment. Bright red, but I'll try and cover that. There you go. There's the face. Right. I'm not going to smile. I'm just going to keep normal. 
Mm-hmm. The chin. <laughs> oh my god. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh man. This is why I don't do live streams because I'm strange. Um, good evening, Laura. I get uh Easter break from work for two weeks. Oh wow, Lucas, that's awesome. Two weeks. Wicked. Um, what an unfortunate typo. Absolutely true. Cock soup is real. No. Ooh. I don't want I don't want no cock soup. <laughs> I've got to stop saying cock soup. Oh man. But yeah, so basically that has been my life throughout the last few weeks. Being ill with the flu, trying to get a job desperately, um, having an interview, going to be a trial for a job and then them not bothering because I had the flu and they wouldn't wait a few days till I got better. Um, not that I'm holding a grudge or anything, but anyway. Um, and just, yeah, just feeling a bit down and miserable and sorry for myself. But uh, tomorrow is another day. It's Saturday. I'm going to be vlogging again. Obviously, I haven't really vlogged that much either. So, yeah, Saturday is um, uh, going to be a busy day for me, actually. Who wants to know what I'm up to tomorrow? Let me know. And tell me what you are up to on the weekend. I want to know what you're up to. Lucas Reed says, I love the veggie Richmond sausages. They're lovely, aren't they? They taste like real sausages, but they're not. Which is good <laughs> if you're vegetarian or a vegan. Um, so tomorrow I am going to get up really early. I've got a, a dentist checkup in the morning, which I'm absolutely, I, I don't do dentists. I don't, I mean, my dentist is absolutely amazing. She's such a nice woman. Um, and the whole practice, they, they make you feel very comfortable and they're understanding. But at the end of the day, I just don't like going. Um, it fills me with dread and anxiety. And I sit there and I'm like, you know, shaking. But look, I'm, I'm going to go. It's early in the morning, get it done. After that, I am going to um, just have a wander around, just have a little bit of a walk and just get some fresh air. Get my steps in for my pedometer. Um, try and get some calories burnt just while walking around. Um, I might see, well, I should be seeing my friend Kelly. Uh, I think we'll meet. I'll either go around to her for a bit or I'll meet her in town. So I'll have to let her know in a bit, actually, what's going on. But, um, yeah, seeing her. And then I'm going to see some mediums. Mm. Not small, not large, but mediums. <laughs> Sorry. Um, but, yeah, I'm going to see two. I've booked two mediums, um, which is, look, it's cost me 20 quid which I know I keep saying I've got to be really careful with my money. And I, and I have, and I have been, trust me. I'm like ugh, barely getting anything. I'm literally paying for the bills and food and drink. And pretty much that's that, right? But this was really important to me because, you know, obviously my grief is, well, if I'm being completely honest with you, my grief has got worse. Um, People say you heal in time, but my actual grief I feel has got worse. I feel like the longer it's been that I haven't spoke to my mum, I haven't seen my mum, the worse I feel, right? Um, and I'm not going to cry because I had a big old crying session about half an hour today about my mum and I, I, I don't want to keep going on about it. But I needed, when I saw there was a day of readings, uh, medium readings, I thought, you know what, I'm just going to, it's 20 quid. You get, I've got two different separate mediums. So you get £10 for 20 minutes, one-to-one -one reading. And the last time I went, it really did comfort me. It, I come out and I felt so lifted and happy. I got messages through from mum. And I know not everyone's into that. I know some people don't believe in it and that's completely fine. And I respect that. But for like me personally, I do. And I get a lot of comfort. And so, yeah, I'm going to go to that tomorrow lunchtime. Got it all booked in. So we'll see. Obviously, I'll update people in the vlog um, when I film and that if, if I got any results, what, what happened. So, yeah, I'm going to have a busy day tomorrow. And then I need to do filming tomorrow afternoon when I'm back, 100% filming. It's just got to happen. Like, I've just got to do it and edit in and stuff like that. Um, and then tomorrow night, it's Gladiators final. Da, 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 da. Anyone been watching the Gladiators <coughs> in the UK? Let me know if you are a Gladiators fan. Um, so I'm just reading through the comments now. Um, I had corn bangers the other day. <laughs> nice bangers. The kind that you have the mash with mash and beans. Do you see, I don't mind the corn sausages, Lucas, but I, I think <coughs> ever since, sorry, let me have some water. My throat is still not great and my cough. Um, sorry, hold on. <laughs> oh, that's better. Yeah, um, ever since I've discovered the Richmond meat-free sausages, I haven't turned back. 
I love them so much. But yeah, the corn ones are nice. Um, what are you up to? I'm heading to an Aben. Oh wow, Nima's going to an Aben night. A wee sing along. Oh, that is going to be awesome. I went to an Aben sing along show many many years ago, Nima, with my mum, my friend Hannah, and my grandma. And it was just the funniest night. It was just so much fun. Um, and I think me and Hannah went to on our own as well. Years later, we went to an ABBA sing along um, at the Chris Pavilion, so at the theatre. So yeah, very very fun. Uh, Jess PMG. Okay, Lee, I'll check that in a bit. Thank you. Um, ba -ba -ba. Oh, hey James, how you doing, James Whitaker? Uh, thank you very much, James. Very kind of you. And Nima, big heart to you. So yeah, I'm, you know, look, it, it's it's just been a really tough time. And and as I say, I did have a bit of a breakdown. I said to Nathan, like, some days I just get on with stuff, I put a brave face on, I try and smile, I try and be friendly to people I'm seeing in the street and in shops and you know, or my family, and just yeah, everything's fine. And then all of a sudden it's like poof, it hits me. It could be a song, it could be a memory, it could be something on television. It could be just a random thought. Um, and then I just get really devastated and sad and I start crying. And like last night I sat there, Nathan was in the bath and I just thought, I need my mum's voice. I need to hear her. I need to see her. So I went on YouTube and I, I literally just sat and watched a, an old video that me and her had done. And it was just so funny. Like she was really rude. Like she was really cheeky and that's why I loved her. But it just made me laugh and and instead of feeling really sad watching it it just makes me laugh because she was so funny it was i think i put it on facebook it was a video where i'd done her makeup uh it was terrible like how, how did i do that i made it look like a clown and i put this like lip gloss on her um which was supposed to be like a you know a plumping lip gloss and I, <laughs> it had made her lips tingle and she was going crazy at the end of the video. She's like, get this shit off me. My lips are tingling. What have you done? I was like, oh, God. I was going, mum, it's all right. It's supposed to make your lips all pouty. Get it off me. I'd done bright blue, <coughs> blue eyeshadow on her. And oh, God. She was just such a big, funny, amazing person and a character. And, you know, I think, well, look, we all miss, we've all had people, I assume, we've all had people pass and, people we love and <coughs> sorry when they're not there anymore it's you really notice it it's like a big it's just a, it's just a big gap in your life and you know I said to Nathan and, and other people that it was you know for so many years before I met Nathan you know it was just me and my mum against the world it was just me and her like literally you know dad obviously left when I was 14 and everything was my mum um, and even as a kid, I was always a mummy's girl, so I was always bonded more to my mum. And it's just been like, you know, all those years. And obviously when Nathan kind of joined our little bubble and stuff, it was different. But it was always me and my mum. And, you know, people are close to their parents. Um, but I am just, I think I was a bit obsessed with my mum, which sounds really weird. But I idolised her so much. And I know that we had our fallouts over silly, silly things. You know, me making mess, um, you know, not tidying up and stuff. And then I'd moan at her because she was having coffee when she shouldn't or eating chocolate when she shouldn't or, you know. But you know what? For all them silly little rows, there was never anything serious. We we were there for each other through everything. And, you know, I've been through a lot of tough things in my life, a lot of horrible, tough things. And she was there for every single thing in my life things that like my darkest days um she was just my my angel and, and always helped me out and it's just hard without her you know and it's even the simple things like sometimes I just miss as I said like just giving her a call and you know having a chat with her or telling her some gossip or asking her a question or you know or advice and that's when it it hits me you know um anyway sorry but I'm not crying I'm okay I'm not crying but it's I th it's I think it's just I think the hardest thing I've ever been through is lose losing my mum um I know you know what I know she's still with me in spirit I know she's here and I I feel her sometimes I hear her um I just I don't know it's really tough it's really tough um 
Oh, thank you. We all know it's tough for you. Um, it's still very recent. You can't just let go that quick. Yeah, we were working it out today. It's been five months, literally. So it's not that it's not that long. I suppose I suppose I do. I look, I do beat myself up and I do get embarrassed because, you know, I mean, I've had it. I've been honest in my vlogs. I've had it where I've been in, in, a, in a shop on my own and I've just, you know, it could be a song that comes on or a memory or whatever just comes in my head and I'll just start crying. And it's really embarrassing, especially on your own in a shop in public. Um, and I shouldn't feel embarrassed, but I, I do. And then I have to keep telling myself, look, it's literally, it's only been a few months. My mum, you know, apart from Nathan, like she was the most important person in my life ever and she's gone so it's normal for me to get upset it's normal for me to have thoughts and sadness and I just got to deal with that I suppose because there's nothing to be embarrassed about but I don't know I just I don't know I just do sometimes you know um totally normal hun it does get better but it takes time you can't rush it your mum was amazing she was and you are so like her she would be proud of you and Nathan I do you know what I hope she is proud of me and Nathan I mean, look, I'm still messy, you know, so I'm not perfect, but I'm trying, I'm trying to be, trying to be a bit tidier. Um, but, you know, there's lots of things I've had to do, which are very serious things and sad things and important things that I've, I've, I've done. Um, I'm trying to make her proud in, in, in every way, you know? Um, yeah. And she, yeah, thank you for saying kind words about her. My viewers was always so lovely about her and, she she loved it. She always loved. She used to tell her friends like, "Oh yeah, Laura's got a YouTube channel, and I'm on it. I've got all my fans." You know, it it was just cute because she she felt you know that people liked her, and I think my mum, bless her, throughout her life, she always kind of felt like she wasn't liked, but in actual fact, she was so loved and so liked and really popular. But she just didn't believe it. Like she's got way more people like her than me. <laughs> Let's be honest. Um. I still can't believe she's gone, Laura. I thought you'd have, I thought you'd have for a very long time because she seemed so strong-willed. Um, ah, oh, thank you. Yeah, tough lady. Me seeing her with you on here. Yeah, she she was a very tough lady, and and once again, that was something she didn't think she was. She she'd always call herself a wimp, or you know, but she wasn't. She was so tough. She went through so many things in her life as well, and you know, <coughs> she 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 did keep strong and. Like she had moments of weakness, like you know, we all do, but she was a strong character and a fighter. Um, and even at the end, you know, she fought another week, you know. So I don't know. I just miss I miss I miss her. There we go. Anyway, anyway, yes, please remember to thumbs up and subscribe to the lovely Laura, says Michelle, not me. I didn't call myself lovely. <laughs> Well, I don't know, am I lovely? Yeah, I'm, I think I'm quite lovely when I'm in a good mood. Bad mood, not lovely. So I am going to have a little read in a minute. Um, Where's my book? Here it is. I'll quickly tell you, because I know not everyone's into reading, so I don't want to bore you. This is my new book, and it is from the library, so it's free. Look, it's got the sticker on. I tell you, having a hobby like reading when you've got no job is brilliant, because you can get free books. A free hobby. Um... Obviously, I've been getting some books as well. My pre-orders that I... Oh, I had lots of pre-orders last year from Waterstones before I lost my job. And now I'm like, oopsie, they're all exciting to come out. The money's going. I'm like, oh, God. But look, I, it's not my fault. I didn't know I was going to get, you know, lose my job. But anyway, try not to stress, Laura. Try not to stress about money. Um, But yeah, library, free books, entertainment lovely but yeah this is by claire douglas it's called do not disturb be careful who you let inside this is about a couple who well a couple and their kids who go to where is it is it in wales i think it was yeah this kind of um idyllic wales um the mountains welsh mountains they start this like b&b &B and um basically an old family member turns up she's um sort of escaped her abusive husband and she turns up and then lots of secrets from the past come out and trouble. And then she uh, causes a bit of stress and drama with a few different people. And now she has just been found dead 
on the stairwell. Someone has killed her who's staying at the B&B and she's basically pissed everyone off so it could be anyone. Um, I'm Honestly, I'm really enjoying this book and I love Claire Douglas books. I've got a few other books out from the library who are also by Claire Douglas. So, yeah, I, honestly, reading is... Oh, it honestly, it helps my mental health so much to just escape into a book, into a story. Oh, I'm so happy that I've I've got my hobby of, of reading. Um, sorry, Lee says, "Okay, my friend, you look your you look after yourself. Always thinking of you." Oh, thank you, Lee. And can I just say, Lee, you are an awesome person. You're an awesome friend, and you know you're always so kind to me and caring, and I really appreciate it. So thank you very very much. Um, I hope you have a great Easter. Um, good luck with the job hunting that both of you. Thank you, Michelle. It's hard. I just want to work. You know, I know there's a lot of people out there who just don't want a job and they don't care, but I'm not that. I am the person who does want to work. I do want to earn my money. I want to be able to get my wages and then treat myself, whether it's a little dress in Primark or a book or whatever, but no, I've worked for it, you know, and, and for me, I, I just I, it's not good for my mental health not having a job because there's no routine and obviously the money aspect of it and I just oh just need something as soon as pos <laughs> oh thank you very much as people calling me lovely I could get used to this I like that um but yeah any other gladiators fans before I go gladiators final the big final tomorrow I'm very excited when I was a kid well yeah kid and a teenager I was obsessed with gladiators and when they brought the reboot back, I was like, oh, my God, Gladiators is coming back. It's so good. Um, I know it's not as good as the original and, you know, they, they've lost quite a lot of the games, but it's still brilliant. I love it. And and slowly but surely, as the series has gone on, I've got to really, like, know the Gladiators and, like, get you know, you've got your favourites and that. And it's just brilliant. So my favourite Gladiators, let me know if you watch it, who are yours, um, in the comments if you're watching after this has been live, but my favourite gladiators I like are Legend, number one. Legend is the, the best gladiator on that show. He is such a character. He's so funny. Like, the other day when he lost, <laughs> he blamed it on the fact that his rabbit died that morning. Like he, Or he'll stand there and just be like, yeah, everyone loves me. I'm Legend. And everyone boos him. He's just such a great character. Um, so he's my favourite. I love uh, Sabre. I didn't like Sabre at first. I used to, I couldn't stand her. But as the series went on, I kind of thought, yeah, she's pretty cool. She's like a bad girl. So Sabre's my favourite girl. And no, I like Fury as well. Love Fury. Um, Fury and Sabre are my favourite girls. And um, my favourite guys are Legend and um, who's the other one? Giant, because he he's just huge. <laughs> he's just massive oh my days um no i do like giant and i like nitro with his little dancing and i do love viper because come on he he's just like mean he's like Arr. he's just really funny but i just really like them all i think i think they're really great characters and i can't wait for series two i just want them to bring back some of the older games you know like imagine pyramid or atmospheres or the one that used to go on the ceiling um What's that? Yeah, Jet in the original series. Did you know, Lee? I know this doesn't matter. I'm not, I'm not saying like it's, it's a problem. I'm just telling you. I didn't know this, but Jet is actually gay and she's married to a woman. Now, I did not know that. Um, me and Nathan were talking about the old gladiators and stuff the other day. And I was like, oh, I wonder what Jet looks like now. Diane Yodel or something. And we found her and she's married to a woman. Now, number one, as I say, it don't matter. I don't care. But... I was just really shocked. I don't know. You know, you think, what? There we go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and she's a psychotherapist. You know, I, I don't know. I was just really shocked. She doesn't look that much different, to be fair. She's aged really well. Um, but, yeah, I think most boys like Jet. I mean, I was a girl, and I, well, not was a girl. I am a girl, uh, well, woman, and I, I love Jet as well. I mean, she had this amazing hair. I know the boys were always looking at other bits. But I was looking at her hair because she just had this beautiful long hair and she used to always like play with her hair. And I was like, I'm jealous of her hair. Um, and just this really sweet little face. So, yeah, I, I she was really, really sweet. Um, yeah, she is. I think she's really pretty now. But um, I don't know. The female gladiators, 
pretty wise. This is terrible judging people's looks, but anyway. Um, I think I honestly think the prettiest gladiator is Sabre. I still think she would look pretty with dark hair. I think if she had that dark hair, but I also think Fury is really pretty. I think um she's just got such a, a beautiful face, but um the guy's probably best looking. I don't know. I like their characters. I don't know about their face. If we're just going on face, <laughs> the face of the gladiator, I don't know. Who's the best looking male gladiator? Mm, just on face. I don't know. I don't know. I'll have to think about that. <laughs> um, <coughs> sorry. Wild before a present partner. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think back in the day, the gladiators were very friendly with each other. I wonder if they are now. I wonder if there's like little affairs, like relationships going on with them, or if they're just good friends. Uh, well, not with legend, because he's married with like two children. But um, anyway, I'm blabbering on about gladiators. Sorry. That is my obsession. Um, I do get lots of different obsessions and like for the last few months it's been gladiators. I, I'm literally obsessed with it. I love it. Um, but anyway, I hope you will have a very nice evening. Happy Easter as I say to all those celebrating Easter. Enjoy your chocolate eggs if you're having them. Um, and uh, yeah, as I say tomorrow, off to the dentist in the morning. Then a little bit of just wandering around <laughs> looking at stuff I can't afford to buy and being miserable. <laughs> I said to Nathan, I'm just going to walk around looking in shop windows, being like, mm. <laughs> I want to buy a dress. <laughs> but no, it's all right. When I get a job, I'll be able to buy stuff. But yeah, just having a little wander around, hopefully see my friend Kelly for a bit and then off to see the mediums to see if they can communicate with mummy spirit. Um, so, yeah, that is my weekend planned. <laughs> Oh, thank you. Yeah, you have a lovely Easter holiday too. And just remember, everyone, you are all amazing. You're all lovely. Thank you so much for hanging out with me tonight. And as I say, I will try and get back into more live streaming, um, uploading more regular content. I'm so sorry. It's just been a tough time. Um, I just haven't been well enough or in the right mental state to film or, or stream or anything. So please bear with me. You know, when I can, I will you know, and if I can't, I can't, but I haven't forgot the Q&A as well, I will be doing the Q&A very soon on both my channels, um, hi Hannah, how are you doing, I'm just leaving the stream, it's ending, but it's really nice to see you, even if it's only for a second, hope you're good Hannah, um, but yeah, all right everyone, take care of yourselves, I'm gonna go phone my dad now, so have a lovely Easter weekend, and uh, I really appreciate you all, take care, bye bye, bye.